Sportsbook Review has just listed all the betting odds and props for this year's Emmy Awards. And joining us now to give us his top tips is betting pundit and William Hill's in-play radio host, Lee Phelps. Lee, thanks for being here today. Thanks a lot. I wish I got dressed up. All right then, well, we've got plenty of betting markets listed on our website, Sportsbook Review forward slash bet me props if you want to check it out including the more popular markets for the outstanding drama the outstanding comedy and best actor and actress now lee before we move to our top tips would you say that when when choosing our bet does the choice often swing to the more current television showings as they are you know fresher in our minds Sometimes it does. Obviously, massive new series can really take the eye. But then you look at something like Breaking Bad, which has won multiple Emmys. You look at something like Modern Family, which just wins year in, year out. You know, these are quality programs that stand the test of time over years and years and years. So, you know, tend, you tend to find that the Emmy voters like those kind of shows. But obviously, you know, if a show comes along, and I'm going to talk about one of them, that really wows people, then I think it can knock the big show off its perch, if you like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, we've only got five days to go here. Is now a good time to place our bets? It is, uh, but I would say there's a, there's a word of warning. A, a lot of these uh, award ceremonies, like the Oscars, like the BAFTAs in, in the UK, and, and like the Emmys here, they, you do tend to see some moves on the day. You know, if, if, you, if you're going to hold your powder and, you know, and wait, then sometimes later on you can find a move, but then you may just miss it altogether, and if there's no move, you've missed your chance and the, the price may have gone. I've never been a fan of waiting. If, if I like something, I like to take the best price I can, and then if it changes on the day, then so be it. You just watch it uh, watch it move, but uh, mm -hmm. I prefer to do it like a little way out, like a week out or something like that. The time we've got now is perfect. Yeah. Well, the first market I like is uh, for the Outstanding Drama Award. Uh, no surprise, uh, Breaking Bad here leads the way. That's priced at one to five. Uh, but because we've got such big favourites, uh, the second favourite, True Detective, third favourite and my favourite, Game of Thrones, really presents some value. That's priced at seven to one and eight to one, respectively. Now, is one of the top markets, is this one of the top markets to place your bet because there is such a strong favourite, it offers more value in other areas? Yeah, I mean, this is a great market. Breaking Bad, fantastic programme. Everyone knows it is. It's been all over Twitter and Facebook. And you don't get many people who don't like Breaking Bad. So it's a justified favourite. It's a multiple award winner. Fantastic. But I'm going to take it on. Uh, I'm not with Game of Thrones like you, although it is a fantastic TV show. And it's got lots of fans all over the world. I think it's maybe a bit more of a niche uh, audience in a sense. I'm going with True Detective. This is a, an amazing show. It's more like a feature film when you watch it. Two Hollywood superstars in yeah. leading actor roles in it, almost vying against each other. It's a brilliantly character-based program with a kind of sinister angle to it. Uh, and I think, you know, the people who've watched it have really, really enjoyed it. Now, the, the problem is that it's not as big as Breaking Bad, obviously. It's not as big as Game of Thrones. But I think it's got that critical element, that element where the critics and the voters want to be a bit cool and it is the, the cool program to really like now so true detective for me in this market i'm going to take breaking bad on all right so you're going to go for uh, the cool bet here a little bit of a gamble but we've got the value seven to one now would you say that um say if you have a favorite drama or series uh would you say would you kind of like follow would you then focus your bets like a uh, leading actor actress say around your chosen series so for example uh, you're going for true detective uh, would your choice in lead actor obviously be uh, matthew mcconaughey yeah, yeah, fantastic performance. I mean, you know, they're, they're both amazing in it. Um, you know, the Breaking Bad, you know, actors have all won these awards multiple times. I think it is time for a change. And Matthew McConaughey was the toast of, the, of Hollywood, wasn't he, for the last, well, he has been for the last 12, 18 months, not only in TV, but also in movie roles. So I'd, I'd put no one off. Um, mm -hmm. that. I mean, the problem with a lot of the favourites in this, Natalie, as you can, you can see, is that they're very, very short, aren't they? As they are with the Oscars, it's trying to find some value in these markets. That's the tough thing. Yeah. Well, the favourites, are there, they, they hold very short value and then sort of second, third, fourth really present some value. What other markets then should we look at here that we should focus on that you have found value in? Yeah, I like the best uh, comedy. Um, if, uh, this is an interesting one. Um, you look at the, 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 the leaders in the market. Now, you know, like in the Oscars, you, you get the, uh, the kind of pre-Oscar award ceremonies that no one really takes any, any notice of. Well, they give you a pointer towards everything else. Now, um, you know, you look at Veep and, and Modern Family were going head to head until very recently um, for, that, uh, for that coveted favourite spot. I mean, I think Modern Family has got this sewn up. I mean, it's like Breaking Bad in that it's a multiple award winner, 
in this category. I mean, it just keeps winning and winning and winning. Now, can it win in its final kind of throws, if you like? Suddenly, it was favourite. Suddenly, it's gone second favourite, and we've got a new favourite. Now, th you know, this this favourite was the uh, kind of the the darling of Netflix. It's kind of what what has made Netflix its name, if you like. The the, the first show that Netflix has put out there that everyone has really got into, and I think that's a kind of you know, it's a bit of a populist move, if you like. It has won very recently at one of the the Creative Arts Awards. It kind of swept the board, but. Modern Family didn't pick up a single award at the 2013 Creative Awards, but went on to win its fourth consecutive Emmy uh, last year in 2013. So I think Modern Family should be the favourite. I think it's a touch of value yeah. in this market, a second yeah. favourite. Lee, I'm with you on that one. I love Modern Family, and I really think that their bet there is, uh, is, is worth the bet. Now, from what we've discussed here, what is maybe your top tip here, your top bet that you're going to go for? Yeah, the last one I've just mentioned, True Detective is a bit of a punt really because you know I can see why they go for Breaking Bad. For me, Modern Family has been shifted out just through a, a move of money and the fact that there's been a you know a, a, a votes have been cast against it, if you like. But it proved last year, as I said, that it can get past that and still get the Emmy. I think a bit of a sentimental one. I think Modern Family will win its fifth consecutive Emmy. All right, then, so there you have it, our top tip, uh, Betting Modern Family here. For more information and to check out our Emmy Awards betting directory, click the link in the description below this video. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. No problem.